checking in with you for a fifth time. This time, we are ready for this Saturday to all go down at Rebel Entertainment. I'm talking about Back to the Beach, Y2K Dance Party, and of course, I've got my main man by my side, Danny G. Oh, I didn't tell you they brought somebody else. Main man that like, looks like here? a childish boy. Hey, no, I, I'm dressed up like a cop. <laughs> I'm trying to de dedicate back to the 90s. Why Speaking of days. cups, what's going on with your cup over I got there? this like new kids on the block cup. Oh. And, and this is just my actual cup. I'm not doing And are this you drinking like an adult beverage or what are you actually drinking? It's green. It's actually Baja Blast. <laughs> I had to get some Baja Blast for our uh, Back to the Beach. Come on, man. This is what we're doing today. Okay. Hey, I kind of thought it was hilarious when I did this initial post wow. months ago. Yes. It was something that we all remembered and did, but like I'm making fun of the fact like, that... Like, where are they now, but <laughs> Albuquerque wide version, right? I cracked a joke. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we who, go. Who on this show right now uh -huh. has been divorced? <laughs> okay. There More we go. than once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so you know i think it's fitting though uh where we're at in our uh -huh. lives and where we were back in the late 90s early 2000s i think it's awesome and so that I was post, actually making fun of myself more than anything else that, that post resonated with a lot of people it had forty thousand views and <laughs> shares like oh, likes and that. comments i think it was like a thousand k uh, it was so, yeah, it was like hundreds of comments and likes well, what I wanted to do is, because I actually went through and read some of the comments. I thought they were hilarious. You pulled some of the comments. I did. I All got right, some go. of the comments. So let's go to the first one. All right. What does it say? I never got to go to Dance Dance, so I would totally be up for this. Yeah. That's yeah. dope. And that was, was Jennifer. Fun. Jennifer, kid, big shout out to you. Guess what? It is back. It's been years now. But you're able to go and enjoy yourselves. Something this like it is back. We brought something back. Well, we so have we all celebrate. the original VJs uh -huh. up on the stage. Plus more. We're gonna have plus more. We're gonna have jugglers. Jugglers. Dude, jugglers. <laughs> just me. Yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna be juggling. All right, a lot I'm of gonna stuff. juggle up there. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> We're gonna do some events that are going beyond what you would have at the original. Yeah. Event. It's our messed up version of the actual dance so let's go to another one let's take another one i think uh the next one is someone we're familiar with can we roll to gotham before <laughs> the event <laughs> carlos d yeah and i love it because um you know if you think about gotham and you think about midnight rodeo you think about metropolis uh -huh. that kind of happened after so for me i think that the beach water park was sort of training for people on how they were going to have to go in and, and spend the rest of their lives dancing in the different nightclubs here in Albuquerque. So I was just imagining trying to keep myself <laughs> a head out of water. <laughs> Jumping in that wave pool. The number of times it almost brought me under. I, that's like a metaphor for my entire life, my friend. I just got to keep my beak out of water. I got to breathe. I got to survive. Hey, damned if you do, damned, damned if, if you I don't. <laughs> Well, That's speaking speaking of the type of atmosphere that the Beach Water Park and the Triple D VJs created, um, let's go to somebody who kind of took, I would like to say he took the torch and kind of carried it into the 21 plus scene because you could go out to the clubs and then you could watch the mess that you were the next night on TV, just like the dance at the Beach Water Park. So, and if it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be doing my dumb TV show on KRQE, uh, <laughs> my show on uh, New Mexico Rising. If it's because he paved the way, I'm able to do my show, New Mexico Rising. So That's I, funny. I tip my hat to you, and uh, if you know who it is, get excited, because here it is. <laughs> Via satellites. This is your main man, Caleb Trump is in the house. 505, get him up, get him up, get him up. 505, it is your native nephew, Caleb Trump is in the his house. All right, y'all know I had to come back and brush off the Wonder Buns, take them out of retirement. I got to send a big shout out, out to everybody in the 505. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> All right, hands are up. Oh man, that we have a special shout out video. That is pure 
gold right there. Oh my goodness. Right? Uh, you got to see the rest of it. It's hilarious. It's I can't great. wait. We're it's gonna watch classic it Caleb. <laughs> We're going to watch it on Saturday night. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. It's, it's just so awesome. I love this because that time and era in Albuquerque is just untouched. It's, it's a champion. Let's go to another. Let's check out another uh, comment. Ava Montoya says, tell me this is true. Well, it's not exactly true. It's close enough. We decided to bring all of our friends together that are from... DJs of old radio stations. Not and only all that, but she tagged Chemo, and if we're familiar with the dance at the Beach Water Park, then we know that Chemo was one of the VJs, and I actually talked to him. He will be there. You're lying. Mm. We, oh, the other VJs don't know? Bianca, uh -huh. who's also one of the VJs, will also be there. <laughs> Oh, we gotta get them up on stage. They're gonna be up okay. on stage. Okay. So they didn't know. So the other VJs. They don't know yet. Don't know yet. They don't know yet. Oh, we're bringing. That's we got a everyone coming. It's okay. gonna be awesome. If they're watching this, which they're not, because they're not they're going lazy. to. <laughs> they're not gonna watch this. They're not gonna go this far. All right. What do we got? We got another comment. Here we go. Michael Lee. He tagged a couple of people and he said. Let me find out Caleb Crump is coming, too. He can't be coming, but no. he did send us a video. Yes, so he will be making an appearance. It'll be in the form of a video, and so he will be there in spirit, and it's just awesome. And he knows about him. it. He would have shown up if we if he could get out Dude, here, he's no. got the same energy. He's doing the ah, sookie, sookie now, and he's going to ask everyone to do the special dance. <laughs> Now, speaking of videos, I was doing some digging on YouTube because I heard about there being video of the Beach Water Park and the teen experience that people had. And while looking through this video, um, I ended up running into a couple of things. I ran into a performance from No Sleep and okay. DeAndre. That was pretty cool to watch. And I ran into this footage right here. Y'all keeping it respectful, but yet you're still getting your party on. I want y'all to show some love. Albuquerque, New Mexico, we're gonna do it big. My right dear blasting off the Beach Water Park, Triple D I Double T 2001. Y'all make some noise for my girl. Drop it, drop it, give it up, y'all. All right, let's go back. I gotta go through this one more time. Ooh. Look at this. And they spell Mr. Clean with a K. And it's actually spelled clean like clean. And, and uh, DJ from Wild 106.9. <laughs> I don't even remember that station. <laughs> I don't, I, don't think it, I don't think it still doesn't exist. <laughs> it still doesn't exist. Wild 106.9 still doesn't exist. So Mr. Clean was a part of Wild 106 back in the day. He Here's did the morning, morning show. show. Yeah. And, you know, the reason his name was Mr. Clean is he was very germaphobic. Oh, I thought he was bald as hell. <laughs> now he is. But back in the day, it was... I'm it was... just kidding. <laughs> He could not make it out. We did reach out to him, but you know he's always in spirit. That's our brother, man. We love him. He, he's hilarious. And but this is just so dope. Like I remember that time and period when he was wearing the do rags. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When he would go out and he would wear that, and then he had the the side satchel backpack. Remember those oh, were really yeah. popular. Watch, take a look Ooh, at it so one more time. Look, at, he's got it on. Like, why are you wearing a backpack up there? Is it because it's a teen dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, he's got the Tommy Boy lanyard on. Wow. Oh, so many memories. And those man. terrible, terrible uh, button-up shirts that we had to wear with <laughs> the, the little ones. Wild 106 logo in oh, the corner. Those awesome. were awful. That was awesome. Uh, thank that was you for beautiful. those. That was a 2001, as a matter of fact. Mm. So it was a treat to be able to look back at that. And man, like you, like we were talking about earlier, they had to. Put that footage together within 24 hours and play it the next night. I commend, and I, I wish we could get a hold of the people that put the show, that old show together. Just they to talk to them about her yeah. job. Yeah, it was cool. Like, I commend everything that they did. And I think that's why we're doing, like, a friendly tribute show. Yeah. And I think it's because, uh, yeah, I'm making fun of, like, some of the life that we lived through at the time. I'm making fun of ourselves as being dorks as kids. <laughs> but, man... We were all kids. We were all growing up, and we went through some stuff since then. We didn't have the internet or our phones like we do now, but we did have this type of footage that just, you get to look back at it, and you just think, holy smokes, there was Janko jeans in this video. <laughs> like, oh, dude, it was, so it was, a, there was long, the long t-shirts with the Janko jeans. It was just horrible. It was like, who would let their kid go out 
in that attire. It was awesome. And of course, the blonde. The blonde frost on the top. Oh, the, the there was tip. so much. Blonde. You know what? I was, was dyeing so my hair blonde. recently. I wanted to put these colored strands to, to do some throwback. You kind of have uh, the blonde. But blonde. when they yes. when she dyed it with the blonde, yeah. I almost told you her to stop. Did. Right there. I almost was like, don't go any further. This is '90s right I here. I think we are done. <laughs> I think I am Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful like a backstreet boy. Oh and unfortunately, gosh. I looked like an idiot, and I still probably do, but no, I thought it would have been great. You look good, man. You ready for Saturday for sure. Uh, no, I am not ready for Saturday. We'll see how it goes. We got another uh, comment. All right. I, go for it. You you say it, man. I will only go if Sunshine, Christy, uh -huh. uh, Dela, and D is nuts. Go. <laughs> Darlene. <laughs> oh, I loved all of them. Dude, and those uh, that's just a time and period when we had, like, so many interns on Wild. And it was actually, we couldn't come up with a name for Darlene, who they're calling Dee's Nuts at this point. So we called her Gwen girl, girl because it was no Girl name. With No Name. So that's what we named her, but yeah. Uh, and then they also wrote, just, just kidding, I'd still go because I never got to go to. Growing up on the res, I could only join it late at night on TV, wishing I could be there. There it is. Well, this isn't that, but no. this is as close as we could get legally. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> We're just good friends with everybody from the original. And we said, hey, do you want to come to our party? And they're like, hell yeah! Oh, man. So That's awesome. I love right. it. Big Where shout out to Levi for that one. <laughs> all right, next one. Uh, Morgan says, y'all, we better start stretching. Get them <laughs> knee braces off and muscle cream stocked up. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Dude, guess what? You've never been more true in your whole life. Waking up now... Is is it hurts? <laughs> but waking up now, you have the benefit of cannabis being legal. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Just imagine where you would be twenty years ago, or waking up if it was still illegal, and have the body you have now. Yeah. No, I you know to go out and to dance like these kids in the video, they're just like this the whole time. They didn't have no other move, dude. They just had this one right here. That was it. That's and then, and then you had the guys who had the girl on them. And you know, like at first, the guy has a lot of moves. And then when a girl puts her her butt on you like that, you don't, you can't do nothing but just this, because all the blood is rushed out of your head, dude. <laughs> it's gone. No, that's just called fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when man. I was a teen, I was also afraid of the opposite gender. <laughs> As a 42-year-old man, I'm still afraid of the opposite gender. <laughs> well, being through that many divorces, I could see where that fear would set in for no, sure. No, no, I'm still afraid, but now I've added the word bitter. You've heard of fear, loathing in Las Vegas. I'm bitter and fearful in Albuquerque. <laughs> oh jeez! Well, that was great, man. There was also some other great comments on there. Um, did we have one more? We yeah, have one, got more. one more from Rachel. There we go. Rachel Sweeney says, "I'm an adult now, so I give myself permission to go since I wasn't allowed back then, <laughs> even though my BFF was a VJ." Kira. <laughs> oh, I tagged her friend. That's awesome. Oh. Well, we can't wait to see you there, Rachel. Um, but yeah, you know, there was a couple of comments that I was laughing at where they were talking about. You know, now that I'm a grown-up, I'm going to give myself permission to go to the dance. <laughs> and then and then someone got back on and goes, uh, well, what about me? And yeah, I'm old enough to give you permission, too. And then they, they messaged back, and they were like, well, let me ask my mom anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were this close to turning the events 31 and over yeah. just to mess with people. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they, it was it was suggested out there, and we did think about it, but we're forty one and over. Just to have it, oh my just God, be that that age that you still can't go. <laughs> Your older brother and older sister could go, and some of you be like, I can't go. Well, we do want to thank you if you are a grandparent at this point in your life. 
or a parent and you found a babysitter to join us this Saturday at Revel Entertainment. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good time. We're flying Jason in. Uh, we're bringing Kira and Jesse down. Jesse said he, he has a super special uh, treat that he's going to give uh, to the audience here oh. in Albuquerque. And not only that, but Shamar is going to be there. And we've got some of the past VJs. we got some of the past DJs. Uh, we've got that great video that we're going to be taking a look at in its splendor and its entirety of the Wonder Buns. Thank you, Caleb, for that. <laughs> and you know what? I love every single person that was part of Dance Dance, down to the people that I never even got to meet. Their work and their dedication for putting that show together was something amazing. And I think that's what like in, influenced us to put together a tribute show for those that that were there. Yeah. And yeah, we were there. I actually was on screen for like 2 seconds doing an intro for one bump in or something like that as yeah. a member from Wild 106 and I will always remember that. Yeah. And I was always remember standing next to the Wild 106 van right outside the park say, "Hey, and something about like coming up. We're from Wild or whatever." Yeah. And, uh, Coming and and the line, the line behind you, yeah, like, dude, those are just awesome, awesome memories. You know what I mean? And I remember having to go out there, and I remember having to work after the event, late at night, started at midnight till six, and the boss wouldn't let me get any rest in between. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jammer. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, outside of all of that, like I still all these memories, mm -hmm. all of the people that we ran into, all of the people that we've met, all of these events, we were goofball. And the great thing is that we're old enough now to drink responsibly if we want to. So why don't you come out with us and enjoy a night of nostalgia, right? We're going to take you back in the day. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to throw our canes to the side and get it going with Back to the Beach Y2K Dance Party. DJ Mike T is going to put it down, and he's a phenomenal DJ. Hey, he was on the air he's with not me. Gonna it was miss me, Danny G, and Mike the fun T. House. Funhouse late at night. Yeah, and we would do that. So he's got to do a great job. Yeah. it's going to be great. And another thing that I want to say, and I don't want to bring it down, which I'm going to make it all sad uh, and depressing now. But go. there are many people that we've actually lost between then yeah. and now. Yeah. And uh, shout outs like Big Mona. Uh, shout outs yeah. to others. We just want to say that like these memories, mm -hmm. we hold all of you in our hearts. And we're just trying to make some more damn memories by faking a show that is based emotionally on an old show. So it's not the same show. Yes, the name's different. We get it. If we could use the original name or even do a parody name, we would have done it in a heartbeat. <laughs> but the name's different. The spirit, the heart, and the people are all still there. Yes. So that's where I'm at. That's good. I like that. Good job, Dan. Well, thank you guys for checking this out. We look forward to seeing you this Saturday. We want you to come on through to Revel Entertainment. You can get your tickets right now. Buy one, get one free is happening at revelabq.com. And, uh, man, a lot of great entertainment going on. Big shout-out to Johnny Badluck, who's going to be up in the spot. And, of course, my hustle fam, who's going to be there. And I can't wait to see you guys. Dan, you're going to be there. I can't wait for your magic trick. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do some... Wait, what? <laughs> I'm doing a magic trick yeah, now. You're gonna too? make you're gonna make Great. another wife disappear. Oh goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we'll see you in another ten years. <laughs> Back to the beach, Y2K dance party. This will be the last time that we check in with y'all. But thank you so much for sharing and liking and being a part of this fun experience that we've had uh, to hold us over for the winter of 2024. Right? Yes. We're jumping and beyond. Into spring. It's probably never happening again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Checking out right now, live from the studio. We're going uh, back to our lives. I'm going to go grab me some tacos, and Dan's going to finish his... I'm going to cry blast. in the corner. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Wallow in self-pity and guilt. <laughs> back to the beach. Yo. This Saturday. Life's a beach. April 6th. Come and chill with us. Here, fool. <laughs>